This is the book. Oh, excellent. <laughs> I'll just make you full screen. Okay. Cow care. And, and uh, you may notice on this top, it says open access. Um, open access means that it's available for anyone and everyone to download digital copy uh, free of charge. Uh, so we can provide the link. Yes, Mara, you'll do that. Definitely. And anyone can legally download the book. Um, this is then uh, counted um, by the publisher, Palgrave Macmillan. Uh, this is part of a series, animal ethics series of uh, the publisher, Palgrave Macmillan. And um, they register each download, which means that we keep informed how many how many people download the book. So up to now, it is over 41,000 uh, downloads. That's huge. Since it was published in the beginning of last year. Oh. Yeah, the number has slowed. In the beginning, it was, uh, the numbers were going up rather quickly and now it's slowed, but still. Uh, for how academic, I came to write? Sorry, I, for an academic book, forty-one for academic publishers book, forty-one k is a significant download, isn't it? Um, it's, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> some yeah. books, some academic books, uh, you can be happy if you sell three hundred copies. <laughs> yes, my right. So yeah, I think this this is a very good strategy. You had mentioned to me that you know you got some sponsorship for the book and that's how they gave the free access. So that's a, in one sense in today's world, getting a physical copy is not that easy in different parts of the world it becomes expensive. Yeah. So this free access yeah. sounds like a very good, good strategy that can be used in general whenever possible. Do all publishers yes. allow this Maharaj or it's only for some publishers? Um, I think gradually more and more publishers are making an option of open access. Mm. Uh, I, I haven't researched it, but uh, they seem to recognize more and more that it's, it's good for everyone involved. Um, it's, uh, it's not inexpensive, um, but um, I was encouraged by devotees by friends uh, to do an, a fundraising, you know, a crowdfunding sort of thing. And it was successful. So it was possible to do. Yes, um, mm. Yeah. So uh, to explain, oh, I wanted to also say that just a few days ago, we have sent Eighty, eight zero, hardbound copies we have shipped uh, from Germany to India, and um, this was sponsored by one devotee of the Chopati Yatra. Oh, um, and we are going to be sending these as complimentary uh, co copies to various academic institutions to particular individuals, professors and uh, various scholars. Okay. That's so wonderful. that's, it means it's also physical copies will reach, we reach physical libraries that also has its own reach. Yeah. Yes, that's the idea. So how I came to write the book, I was invited to do so uh, by the editor of this book series, whom I know uh, quite well. Uh, he is um, professor, retired professor Andrew Lindsay. Uh, he is the head of the director of the Oxford Center for Animal Ethics. And that's something also one can find on the internet. 
Um, I became involved with them uh, giving presentations on Hinduism and animal ethics over some years. And uh, he asked me more than once to write on Hinduism and an animal ethics. And I think it was the third time he asked me, he said, I really want you to write this book because you are a practitioner. Okay. And when he said that, uh, as they say in America, the nickel dropped. <laughs> uh, 